All, all right, everyone. It looks like they are ready for the Super Mario Sunshine race. So let's give it up for Jay Cool and Quaniza. Yeah. All right. Sweet. All right, ready? On. Let's start. On go. Three, two, one, go. go. This is Super Mario Sunshine, people. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. All right, I'm Quaniza. I'm Jay Cool. This is Kafalon. I'm Average Trey. I'm JJ SRL, and this is Strong Man Lin. This is Bowser Jr. Bowser hey. Jr. We have a stacked couch tonight. So uh, this is Sunshine, one of the 3D Marios. Uh, 2002, right? Yep, that's right. Released. Before the, I was born. Yeah, before this <laughs> <game> was born. <laughs> For the Nintendo GameCube. And uh, we're going to try to speed run it, right? Right, yeah. And we got a race today, folks, between some two pretty high-level players of the game. Should be pretty hype. Yep. Let's get some hype. Yeah, yeah, let's, get some hype. Go, yeah let's, go. let's go. So right now, we're watching the famous cutscenes. Everyone loves them, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know I do. They're amazing. They're amazing, dude. I love it. And we're soon going to get to our first bit of gameplay, the most intense five seconds of all, as I'm sure you'll see. There's nothing that's going to be more hype than this moment right here. This will determine the whole race, so watch closely. Dude. Okay, so the way that Sunshine 80% works, it's not like 64 where there's a star requirement. It's more so you have to get certain shines to complete the game, like getting to Corona Mountain. Uh, so basically what they're going to do is get every episode 7 shine, which requires level progress in each world. So. Yeah, you can't just go around and just get Delfino shines. You have to get 1 through 7, or if it's like Bianca or Penna, you can skip some shines. Right. Or Gelato. Or Gelato. Especially Gelato, <laughs> which we'll get to later. So right now, this is the Flood uh, tutorial, basically. And uh, it, this game, movement-wise, without Flood, is similar to what you would find in Super Mario 64. You got your dives, you got your rollouts, you got your jumps, triple jumps. There's a spin jump in this game, which you'll see that's really useful. Mm -hmm. But uh, here's Flood, who really changes the game, honestly. Uh, people want to say that Flood is like a handicap. He makes the game easier because of his little hover ability. Which is true. But on that same token, it also adds a lot of depth to the mechanics of the game. It makes it really fun to run. Yeah, yeah. The movement in this game wouldn't be anywhere near as interesting if Flood was not obvious, didn't exist. Right. And that is it for the tutorial, folks. Proceed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Quanisa going for a faster airstrip by spraying him instantly. Compared to J. Cool, who just did a side flip. It's actually faster by a little bit if done optimally. So first boss fight in the game, pretty simple. You can just keep spraying forever and uh, not worry about a thing. <laughs> and they're going to land right where the shine spawns to save a few frames. Got to know where the shine spawn in this game. Both getting the ground pound. Dude, that ground Impressive. pound hard. Shine get. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the Japanese version, so you may see the shine get text. Uh, that's just a weird translation thing, I guess. <laughs> uh, and I guess uh, we can explain the lore of the game coming up. He gets arrested. <laughs> Woohoo. <laughs> yeah, so now Mario's on trial because apparently a Mario-shaped figure has completely destroyed all of Isle Delfino with goop. So with no real like evidence or anything, they just bring him to court and basically convict him. That's basically the story. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. Not yeah. allowing any defense in the slightest. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure that right now people are quoting the cutscene as we, as we speak. Of course. <laughs> And even on the Japanese version, there's English voice acting with Japanese subtitles. They just right. wanted it to all be American voice acting for some reason. And like the voice goes like up and down in different ways if you like compare it to the English Yeah, they're, they're the same exact lines, but you may notice they're like slightly off, but I don't know. I guess they just redid them for newer releases. 
This horrible graffiti is to blame. He holds this sketch of the perpetrator based on eyewitness description. The truth is among us. It is none other than Mario. Objection! <laughs> All right, we had to do the objection. And now we can do some donations. Yeah. <laughs> we can do a few donations. Just a few. All right, we have $25 from Aurora Ari that says, Guys, I'm really worried that Mario forgot to pack sunscreen for his vacation. Here's $25 to get him some SPF 200. Good luck, everyone. $25 from T-Mac. Shout out to Lily and the Pie Party. Shine, get hype. 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 $20.03 from two days from retirement that says, excited for the race, get to watch GDQ with my little brother so you can say, I'm walking on sunshine. Good luck. $100 from Lingo Maniac that says, greetings from the back couch. Super Mario Sunshine is the game that first got me hooked on speedrunning, so I had to donate during this race. Best of luck to our runners, and let's hit 500K. Put this towards unlocking the Dark Inferno battle in Kingdom Hearts 3. $15 from Sam194. Sunshine was one of my favorite games as a kid, and man, I watched my brother play it for hours. As such, sunshine runs are always fun, and the movement is always a blast. Good luck to both the runners. Okay, so we are getting to Delfino Plaza, where the, the cops yell at us really quick, and then we're good to go. Right. <laughs> the, the game can begin. And then we stop slacking off. <laughs> Okay, so we get to our first bit of movement here outside of Airstrip. And they're both opting for what's known as the scumbag movement, which is uh, going over those buildings over there. It saves a little bit of time, but uh, it's very, very try-hard looking. Oh my god. Hence, oh, he's going. Whoa, oh yo. Oh. <laughs> Quan got some, like, Omega slide going on there. I don't know what the... And you can see this one's different from the airstrip one. In the airstrip one, we were just like pointing up and spraying him. This one, you have to actually time it. Because if right. you do it either too early or too late, you lose like a second and a half because he flinches. Mm -hmm. So slightly harder boss fight. <laughs> and that's how it's going to be for all the rest of the times that we fight that. And here's the grand reveal of Shadow Mario, who they somehow confused for Mario. Yeah, Peach doesn't know what's going on. She's tripping right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think Peach got a little bit smarter by Odyssey, when you say. Absolutely. All right, we're both going to try to kill Shadow Mario here. So we got Jay Cool doing the usual kill. Quan's going to attempt a... Oh! Attempted a quick kill. It's actually possible to kill him instantly, but it's a pretty tight window of timing. Yeah, and unfortunately I'm going to lose like 10 seconds now because of that. Yeah, I mean, it happens. Sometimes... Uh, Quick kill timing's a little bit off. Yeah, it's a risky thing to go for. Definitely in races. Good to show it off, though. Also, I don't know if you saw on Jayco's shot side, but he got the frozen banana. Oh, yeah, JP exclusive glitch. Freezing fruits in midair. That's hype. Very solidly programmed game. Got our Liam, at least. There you go. Saving that half second. We eat. All right, so this is the only intentional shine that you can skip. All the rest that are just the game to head glitches, so we're able to skip them. Right, for some reason, Bianco is like a really unique level in that I think they had a different idea going into this game when they made this, because you can choose Bianco 1 or Bianco 2, but in future worlds, they just make you go in order, so it's kind of interesting. And uh, no, windmill wall kicks. Good stuff from J. Cool. And yeah, also the spider lock makes a huge difference too. It can cost up to five seconds with bad pattern. Both of them got pretty decent spiders. There's also a very rare chance where the spider can actually despawn, so... And both got Windmill Walkie's first try. That's yeah. definitely with the clap. <laughs> yep. It's actually low-key one of the hardest things in the game. It really is. Honestly, it scared me for running the game at first. When I saw that, I was like, dude, they don't just ride the thing? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> so 
So you'll notice uh, during this boss fight, they're using a trick where they stand to the side of him to manipulate him to open his mouth. And that was found way back in 2009 by Theradel, so really old manipulation. Ten years old, I guess. Wow. Oh, wow, yeah. Time flies. And Kwanis is showing off a bunch of different ways where you can spray him off. You can either do a backflip and spray him, you can look up and spray him. It's all like personal preference. And how are they filling his mouth so fast? They're just like instantly doing it. What is this? Oh, this is a trick called spam spraying, where if you press R and A at the exact same time, Mario sends out a burst of water. And if you do that over and over again, then it actually helps a lot. You'll see that coming up a lot in Serena. Yeah, it's super useful for cleaning out a lot of goop at once. And the game never tells you about it, so you just got to figure it out, I guess. <laughs> So I'm going to be making my way here to the first secret level of the game. These give you your more, I guess, Mario 64-esque kind of platforming. You don't get flood to use as a crutch. These uh, usually are cycle-based, so I have to be really quick and time all my jumps, and hopefully I don't fall off. These are pretty much the big time killers in the run, so these are pretty hype. Yeah, and even though Bianco 3 is one of the easier secrets, I think Jake was going to go for a riskier strat that saves a few, I'd say like three-tenths of a second, roughly. Yeah, it doesn't uh, save a lot, but I'm going to go for it. In this day and age, uh, oh. the meta advancing so much, you got to go for what you got to go for. And Kwanisa uh, getting hit by the RNG. Oof. Ooh. That CD pod is, uh, is rough sometimes. It's the worst. And this pole wall kick's pretty precise, too, but he gets it. J. Cool bonking, but I think he can get a pretty nice backup. Yep. Uh, Ooh. Oh, 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 my God. He's good, he's good. Oh that was God. the craziest backup <laughs> ever. <laughs> I, I'm going to clap for that backup, man. That was, uh, that was death defying. Yeah, that was intentional. I knew what I was doing. Oh, yeah. Woo. <laughs> and Quan, uh, a little more safe. Oh. oh. Just got to get that quick death out of the way. Now we're good to go. <laughs> no longer world record pace. So. Yeah, that was pretty whack. We're in there now. So now uh, J. Cool is opening Rico Harbor, but we're not we're not actually going to go into Rico yet. Uh, essentially, we're going to do a trick called Travel. Oh, let's go, Quan. <laughs> yeah, Quan. Woo! Uh, so Travel Skip coming up was found by a Japanese player named Honey. And basically he's gonna enter Bianco right as he does the final spray on this Prana Plant, uh, which essentially lets him enter Bianco first frame possible after the cutscene plays. And it looks pretty trippy, so. It's pretty lenient, but if you don't get the water slide instantly, then it's, you're probably not gonna get it. Yeah, that's it. There you go. Yeah, travel skip. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that thing on the screen is, but <laughs> that always shows up when you do it. This red coin shine right here is probably one of the most like technical shines in the game. Gives off uh, a lot of what makes this game unique with terms of the platforming and the techniques you can use. You'll see a lot of spin jumps and dives and just a bunch of crazy stuff. Hopefully I can do it. Yeah, there's like all different kinds of spin jumps you can do in this game. And uh, just water sliding whenever possible. Ooh, Quan getting it on the very last oh possible God. frame. That was close. <laughs> and I'm just going to explain this a bit in advance. Jay Cool is going to go for a glitchy wall kick, where if you press Y as soon as you wall kick, you keep the momentum from going backwards, and you just, just go forward. And yeah, that was it right there. Yep. Get on top. Risky momentum spin. Oh, he gets it. Uh, that basically lets you do one fewer ground pound on that rope, which saves a bit of time. Shine get. <laughs> And honestly, it's crazy. Like, if you watch this level in 2014 versus now, I'm pretty sure nothing would be similar. It's just this game just evolved right. so much over time. It's the same red coin route, but it's... Same route, yeah. Just totally different movement. Yeah, people have just gotten so good at this game in the last couple of years. Oh, Quan with the spin jump. Got to dodge the red menace. Well done. <laughs> that red spinner will just... If it hits you, it can be rough. I'm coming up here on uh, coming up here on one of the big RNG shines in the game. If there's a lot of luck involved, ooh, that was kind of crazy. Uh, I gotta get, I gotta hit Peter again, P Petey for <laughs> Peter, <laughs> yeah, Peter, Peter, make our way to Peter. <laughs> so he's he's making a comeback. He's now he's gonna kind of travel just randomly across the map. There's like 
I don't know how many over patterns are there. Over 700 patterns. I think it's 700 patterns, dude. According <laughs> to Chocolate. Yeah. Shout out to Chocolate for that bit of knowledge. And unfortunately, there's no way I can manipulate this, so I just kind of have to hope for the best. I could lose 20, 30 seconds here if I get unlucky enough. Just got to hope for the best. I'm pretty sure the difference between the best pattern and the worst pattern is like 50 seconds or something. It's, a, it's like a minute or something, I think. It's crazy. Although, thankfully, like the really bad patterns are about as likely as winning the lottery, so we should be good. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say you lose, Hopefully. you lose maybe like 30 seconds. Yeah, at most. yeah, 30, Normal run. 40 at most. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, in 80%, that really adds up. It does, yeah, for sure. And the thing that separates 80% and 120 shines is that in 80% you want him to go in a good spot, but 120, if he if PG wants to take your time, you could take your time and get some blue coins. Right, you still want a good pattern, but worse patterns are not punishable. They're not as punishable or as punishing as you can get more blue coins during it. Uh, PD's kind of trolling my boy J Cool over here. Yeah, this kind of sucks a little bit. Yeah, yeah a little, little bit of a rough good. pattern there. <laughs> So Quan's getting a guaranteed over the wall pattern, but it could still be good yeah. if he flies directly backward again. Ooh. I know. Oh, he's coming to the closer spot, so. This should be a decent pattern. Yeah, this should be good. I don't know, it could be like J. Cools. <laughs> yeah, we gotta find out. But uh, I think Quan will definitely make up some time here. Oh, for sure, yeah. This yeah. Is I lose at least 20, 30 seconds. A great equalizer of any percent raises. <laughs> and also, along with just random patterns, there's also a random chance that PD will give you a tornado, which just loses two seconds right there. Yeah, just luck on top of luck, honestly. But oh. luckily, it's early in the run, so. And Quantum with an amazing pattern, so. Yeah. That will save him some serious time. That made up for the death. Damn. Thank you, PD. PD's a homie. Unless he's not. <laughs> he usually isn't. I mean, that's going to even out this race quite a bit, so... Mm -hmm. It's kind of interesting. I like it. Yeah? Worked out, I guess. Let's, let's just pretend that Bianco 3 death didn't happen at all. <laughs> just neutralize that death entirely. Okay, so you'd probably think that we should just finish up Bianco, but actually, they're going to make their way to Gelato Beach and open that up. And... The reasoning behind this whole route is to minimize these things called event cutscenes. Uh, basically, after certain things get unlocked, every time you do a shine, a three-second cutscene plays for like a new opened area you can go to. So once they defeat this gelato piranha plant, uh, they'll have no event cutscenes until Panda's unlocked. And luckily, this is the last one of these piranha plants we have to kill. Fortunately, there's so many of these guys. They put them all at the very beginning of the game for some reason. Yeah, I don't know. The only difference between this one and the Rico one is he shoots out a bunch of little goomy enemies between this first and second phase. That's crazy, dude. I don't know. It's this crazy. is the toughest one. He really yeah. has to, to get you with yeah. those goomies. And what J. Cole did and what your guys see Quaniza do is that you're, they're going to water slide as soon as the lighthouse opens up. And the acceleration that you have entering the, that cutscene of the lighthouse like spawning uh, carries over. And you can just be right in front of the M instead of having to like, run up to it. But you also don't want to be too Don't want to slide too much because then it just pushes you back, which is kind of annoying. And now we're in Gelato Beach. Um, this is... One of the best worlds, probably in the run, for a certain reason. Someone might want to kind of explain, but it's, it's going to be a quick one. Right, so uh, he's going to grab a coconut. Gelato 1 usually entails going to the Sandcastle secret, but uh, we're going to skip pretty much everything with, conveniently enough, a trick called Gelato Beach Skip. So, setting it up right now. Quan doing the coconut throw setup. And both getting oh, it. Good. First nice. try. Let's go. Nice. Good job, bro. And I guess uh, Quan's coconut saved him the time to catch up, so yeah. we, we got a neck and neck race again, boys. I had an amazing coconut. Hell yeah. And so the reason that saves about 10 minutes 
is, like I said earlier, it, it unlocks the ability to do episode seven instantly. So right. we just kill Shadow Mario right now, and there you go. Only need two shines. Done with gelato. Oh, have, shout out to Toval for Jelano Bishke, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we said that. It's, it's crazy how long ago that was found. It was 2014. You're right. Man, five years. Changed the game forever. It's a great skip. I love it. Shine <laughs> <Should I> get. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're going to head off to Pianta. Pianta, technically, in Super Mario Sunshine, should be the last level you go to because you unlock the rocket nozzle as, like, the last thing before Corona, really. And, uh... But with just a simple little Y-turn wall kick, uh, we can just go there right away. Very nice. And yeah, that sort of shows the, a really cool mechanic with the Y cam in this game. You can like turn anywhere in the air using the Y camera right. and just do some crazy stuff with it. Do some kind of cool air strafes. It's pretty, pretty neat tech, I'd say. I like it. All right, so there's more RNG coming up right here and which way the Chomplets decide to go. None of it really matters that much until the last one. He can go either straight down or go to the left, and that costs about yep. six seconds. Well, I'm getting a better second one. Uh, although the third guy, yeah, like you said, is the bigger uh, factor here. Ooh, Quan getting the worst third one. But Jekyll with a good one, so... Still going to save some time here. And yeah, he pauses there to uh, skip a text box saying to take care of your pets. <laughs> Don't forget to take care of your pets, though. Shine get. Shine get. Woo! More shine gets to come, I'm sure. <laughs> There's going to be a lot of those this run. Oh, yeah. So, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, 44 of them. Oh, 43 of them. <laughs> yeah, we see 43. The 40 Bowser counts as a shine this game, so there you go. And now, kind of like the Coupe of the Quick Stars for Mario 64 here, we're going to be racing El Piantissimo, who is... Who's actually Cathalon. actually <laughs> Cathalon. <laughs> yeah, or the running man from Ocarina of Time. Yeah, yeah. He is the uh, most consistent speedrunner I know. He gets the same time every single time. It's insane. It's crazy. Consistency king. Right. Uh, it doesn't matter at all how fast we finish this. He'll always... Be the same. Yeah, yeah. unlike Cooper the Quick, where he, he does sandbag or rubber band to you, uh, LP doesn't know how to set path. So you can probably do a quick donation for the rest of this uh, race. Sure thing. We have thirty dollars from Awesomosity that says the law of Delfino Plaza oh. is just unfair. <laughs> <laughs> As is all the RNG in this game. Good luck, lads. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that, by the way. <laughs> Goodness. $15 from Dan149. The hype for this sunshine race is real. Good luck to both the runners. All right, so pretty scary shine coming up. Uh, the only level in the game where you don't have flood and it's not a secret. Right. In this level, we're supposed to be going through a pretty convoluted obstacle course. Like, I don't even remember how to beat it. I don't it. think anyone remembers how <laughs> to do it normally. Nope. There's a lot of ways you can cheese it. And the way we're going to do it is specifically is to take intentional damage so that we can uh, just run straight through the lava and get straight to the end. So you'll see it here if I can get there in time. Yeah, he's going to use these wind, wind duppies to damage himself, get some iframes, and clear that lava. Oh. And he made it, luckily. <laughs> Jekyll was going for a very difficult GWKD by like momentum spinning off of the mushroom, but yeah, very risky strat. The sink, I think, sinkage retained right there. It is neck and neck. <laughs> neck, and neck. <laughs> This is uh, about as close as it gets, folks. <laughs> so now we see uh, a level with the big chomp. Not just chomplets, but uh, a big chomp. And there are three different patterns they can get here. Uh, Jekyll with a slightly better pattern, but Quan with a decent one. Yeah. 
And uh, a runner named Tobo found a way that if you actually hold on to the chomp as it goes, it makes them move a little bit faster, which saves a few seconds. And also this manipulation to make him go into the pool. And chain skip, so if you just grab the chain when he's right next to the pool, and then he'll just want to jump in himself. <laughs> we have some Y camera swag on that side. Yeah, you press Y when you grab the shine. You can make him look in all sorts of different directions. It's kind of cool. I do it a lot. You'll see, you'll see a lot of that. It's pretty swag. All right, so uh, another pretty scary secret coming up. Uh, the infamous Chuckster secret. But before that, we have actually a pretty yeah. big skip, which lets us... Oh, do you want to explain I was going to say, it's a scary stage overall with right, okay. the Yoshi skip. So normally you need Yoshi to enter the level by spraying off the jelly covering up the secret. But uh, with a trick called Yoshi Skip, originally found by Axon, with a better setup by Lectro right now, uh, we can just clip right in there using this tree. <laughs> Shots to Huff. Woo! And they both. Oh, oh! Oh, almost got it. That was weird. I think it hovered a little bit too long, but yeah. basically had it. There we go. Hey. There we go. Checks are time. Oh, oh, just missing it. Not quite. So there's a rare cycle. Uh, oh, first rap bounce, by the way. Bounce, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. No but he can also cycle. get rap bounce, though. True, true. We get to see double the rap bounces. So uh, basically a rap bounce. So this guy can stop at any of these corners and the middle sections. But if you bounce on him before he gets there on each corner, he won't stop. So... It's kind of a consistent method. It's like, all right, I don't want him to stop here. Or you can take the risk of, well, of he not doing it. it. Yeah. Right there, if you spam A and Y, he'll throw you backwards because you manipulate the camera. Mm -hmm. Just more uh, Y cam usage right there. <laughs> and I'm glad we saw no deaths there because that's a pretty deadly stage in races. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Piano 3 and Piano 5 are actually both like really scary in races. But right after one of the heaviest RNG stages is one of the heaviest movement stages, Pianta 6. Yeah, it's a pretty big change of pace. We got to clean 10 of these Pianti, uh, Piantas in like three minutes or something. It's obviously not going to take us that long, but there's a lot of really uh, heavy movement execution type stuff here that you see a lot of, as well as some manipulation to kind of clean these guys off before we reach them to kind of skip an animation so that we can clean them a little sooner. It's kind of kind of crazy. Yeah. Shout out to Fetch, who has the world record of like a mid-219, which is yeah. crazy. They give you three minutes. Uh, it's been done by a human in, let's see, 219. That would be 30... 31 seconds. 31 seconds. 41. 41. <laughs> I, I know I messed that up. <laughs> We're speedrunners, we can't do math. It's impossible to do math at a GDQ marathon. J. Cool Gang heavily RNG'd right there. Dude, they weren't even, there wasn't even a goop there, <laughs> There was man. no goop there, and the Piantas just what? didn't want to spawn. Still getting a 210, that's respectable. Woo. Let's see if Quan can also... Oh! Uh, not quite clean that one Piantas. Oh, okay, 209. 210 potential for sure. Very evenly matched. The standard for this stage back when I started used to be like 207 was really good. <laughs> but now it's evolved to like, even 210 isn't even considered that good yeah. for like top yeah. runners now. It's decent. It's yeah. decent. I it's like take 214, that. 214, 215 now is like good. Yeah. It's crazy. Unless you're Ouija, then you get like 216. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should mention that uh, Ouija is the current world record holder. A record that stood for over two years by Nindide uh, right. recently fell because uh, Ouija's super talented. And it can fall again probably tonight. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ouija will keep pushing 113. He's super talented. 
Huge shout outs to him and Nindita, by the way. Those guys are insane, insane players. Honestly, Phenomenal. if it wasn't for Nindide, this game would not be pushed nearly as fast as it had to be. Like, it took us two years to really reach right. where Dede ended up like two years ago, so it's really crazy. What he did to this game is absolutely ridiculous for his time. <laughs> All right, now we're going to <laughs> Now we're going to do this other big glitch right here. So normally we'd have to go into Pinna Park and watch this cutscene, but instead of doing that, we're going to clip out of bounds and kill Mario on just the right frame that we can watch the cutscene without, like, just activate it while killing him so we don't actually have to watch it. So he's going to start up using Mario's shadow. Hopefully that works. i will see if it works in just a second. Intense moment of truth. Woo! Good. Okay. <laughs> but wait, let's see if Quan gets it. Oh, oh, it just misses it. Yeah, I was a little too far to the left. Although, it's better to miss that way than missing the cutscene entirely. Like, right. by far. So, it could have been worse. It's a great cutscene, so, I mean, <laughs> can't be that bad. And just because we don't see it revealed, you know, spoiler warning, uh, Shadow Mario is this dude. So. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I'm actually glad we saw the cutscene. I did that on purpose. Yeah, yeah, just so we could, you know, give a little homage to him right there. I think J. Cole forgot something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, wait, yeah, wait, yeah. you gotta leave. You gotta get a blue coin really quick. Sorry. Oh, you get the Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exiting area, uh, not only here, but after the fight as well, you skip two pretty long cutscenes, saving like three minutes. Yeah. So. Fortunately, it's also the big kind of, like you said, the big spoiler kind of plot point in the game, so. Like, probably the most important plot cutscene in the <laughs> yeah. game. We don't even see, so. So I should tell you all what the, what the plot is. <sighs> All right, so there's a name for pretty much every single shot that happens here. <laughs> that was DM shot, and he gets it. Okay, two shots, good. Two shots. Successful third shot. This could be perfect. That looks like a perfect mecha. Perfect Woo! mecha from J. Cool. Nice. That requires some insane precision and practice. To I, get. I can never even get that in my own runs at home, so <laughs> glad I got it here. And yeah, actually, even in tasks, it's not possible to touch that shine before that little cutscene plays. But it's been proven that it's actually a physical shine you can get if you could get there fast enough. So, just out of reach. Yeah. Let's see how Quan gets these shots. Guess we should sh say shout out to V-Man. Oh yeah, we gotta shout out V-Man, who made this infinitely easier, way more consistent. Yeah, he missed one shot, but he is going to get the... Oh, missed uh, the Sid re-grab. That's kind of RNG. Wait, oh. it's Lucky Rocket. Oh. Ooh, okay, nice. Lucky Rocket. There you go. <laughs> if you just spam at the mecha, one of the drops of water can just grab a rocket and it instantly snaps to you. A crazy trick right here. Ooh, got it. That was it's insane. Moleskip. First try. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's Moleskip. Uh, normally, you got to throw three bombs at him to defeat him to go in there, but you don't have to. And this is probably the easiest sequence of the game. The only thing that matters is your movement on the end section, how fast you do this dive here. Or rather, how early you do it. And the task is able to get to that platform. Oh. Oh. That was kind of an eager McBeaver move right there. <laughs> okay, you died on the easiest, I died on the second easiest sequence. <laughs> Just wanted to even it up a little. Yeah, you know? even it up. <laughs> I respect it. Yeah, the task is able to get on that one platform, but it doesn't even matter because they can't make the second cycle. That's way far ahead. I mean, task can't do it, but can Kwanisa do it? No. <laughs> Probably not. Also, a nice safety one up if you need it. Glad they put that there. All right, first try. Woo! Let's go. Yeah. Let's go, Jay. Cool first try. Woo. All right. All right. And coming up is Pinna 3, uh, another really technical stage. And I'm sure that you're going to go for like the, the newer route made by Fetch. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. It was inspired by the task, and Fetch just saw it. It's like, why don't we just do it in, in <laughs> RTA? <laughs> yeah, honestly, it's really cool when the task inspires some new stuff to do in an actual run. That's where a lot of ideas come from. 
So this is going to be, I guess, some serious time. Probably the hardest part, but good backup. Lands this the is a very good backup. Solid backup. Gets the baby strat. Let's go. Not actually baby. It's just the inputs B A B Y on that wall kick. Oh, and he gets just momentum. To tell you. Oh, oh bad. all right. We're I, I respect the trying to show it off. You can actually like halfway clip that grade and get the coin, and uh, save Ooh. some time. But it's very very tough. What? What? Uh, we're innovating here a little bit. No, pin to three. It's, it's <laughs> tough to back up. It's crazy. I'm just gonna crawl up here. <laughs> just sneak past those electric dudes. <laughs> pin to three, hardest shine. It's for up real. there. It's up there for sure. Main reason why it's the hardest shine, not because that it's like hard in and of itself, but the, if you make a mistake, you lose yeah. so much time. Yeah, so the whole thing's cycle-based, and I mean, you, you can take a pretty far fall, so it's hard to get back up. If you saw what I did at the ends there, uh, similar to SM64, if you dive rollout on a slope, Mario actually like runs at double speed for some reason. Right, and he uses that to, uh, if you just like sneak past those electric Koopas, you can save some time with that. Yep. Coming in on the worst shine in the whole game right here, Pinna 4. This shine is so bad. It is so it's awful. It's good. pretty bad. I wouldn't say it's worse than some, but yeah, I see where you're coming from. Yeah, it's <laughs> basically, I'm going to try to get all five of these guys at, like, once before they start playing their little animations, and we'll call that a one cycle. And if I get that, it's going to save a decent bit of time over having to watch these one by one. Which, uh, Oh, okay, uh, maybe... Oh, no, no, I don't know about. Let's see if Quan can. Uh... Oh my God! I didn't no, like see, what? This is what we're talking about. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes spam sprays aren't quite enough. Uh, this cool. is crazy. Going for this like is... a five cycle. Or yeah. something oh, right here. Five, five cycle, Quan's boys. Going Let's for go. Very high one cycle. <laughs> Watch this. Oh. oh. No, Custom uh, one, uh, one cycle. Okay. Custom one cycle. That'd be pretty swag. This is awful. Yeah, this guy <laughs> sucks. By the way. Yeah. <laughs> They're going for pretty risky setups. There are easier one-cycle setups they could go for, but, you know, in 2019, you got to go risky, man. Where's the other guy? Oh, no. Uh, there he is. Oh, no, dude. Uh, no. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Dude, I got <laughs> trolled. You, you hate to see it, folks. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, well. Dude, this guy needs to look at me. <laughs> Get back here. <laughs> Come oh, on, man. Oh, my God. This oh, and also, the worst. A after, like, the more of these guys that you kill, the faster they get up. Yeah. So, yeah. Watch out for that. All right, this should finally get it. There, there we go. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> if you guys don't know already, Pinna is the absolute worst stage, and we haven't even hit the wackiest shine yet. Dude, this is, like, this is my, like, favorite shine in the game. You kidding me, dude? I love this. <laughs> but you got you to admit, it's pretty wacky. Yeah. Pretty uh, wacky stuff going on. Go this pin a three. Pin a three, yeah. Yeah, we're going to go back to pin a three. Huge skip coming here. We're going to be able to skip pin a five. Uh, it's kind of a lot to explain, though, so I'll let these guys take over for that. All right, so basically, the origin of EYG is that in 2015, a few people known as the good people, they found a bullet bill set up to uh, reach the Yoshi go round early. Uh, but more recently, in 2016, not too recent, I guess. So Puki found us set up in episode three using these uh, Thorin stews, I guess their name is. And we can turn them into platforms and uh, cross over some invisible, non-existent platforms. So basically the inner park section is not actually loaded. The textures are there, but not the actual collision. So we have to use a Yoshi platform that we create using like a, right here. You spray an enemy with Yoshi, a platform's created. We do it again right here to make a platform to cross the barrier. Uh, eat a papaya, turn them orange, and that way we can Woo! access the Yoshi go rounds. And that was first try. That was Let's first go. try. Very good secret. So yeah, uh, a lot of stuff to explain, but I hope you caught most of that. <laughs> this whole void right here, you can get stuck in soft lock and it runs over. It's oh, yeah. so scary. I'm glad you didn't soft lock. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be sketchy. Oh yeah, and we follow it up with a pretty tough secret level too. So. Oh yeah, not only the skip, but you gotta do a secret. So. Pin is pretty crazy in any percent. Oh! Nailing over the top Woo. to the middle. 
Uh, yeah, I clapped for that. I just didn't want to distract my music too much. <laughs> Oh. We're good, we're good. Yeah. Give me a heart attack over here. All right. <laughs> yeah, Penna is probably the hardest rolled overall in any percent for multiple reasons. It's very it's easy, man. <laughs> it's too easy. What's your past it? I mean Shadow Mario is yeah. pretty easy, so. Right. Oh, and he's showing off the, the easier variant over the top to the right. It's not too much slower, maybe like a second slower, so I'd recommend that in a race to be honest. <laughs> J. Cole's pretty crazy. J. Cole putting his, in his memory card because you're going to see something a little bit different from a regular speed run that you would say. Oh, yeah. But on the same side, Quanisa is going to go for something different as well. Oh, we could. Uh, we're going to see the very first instance of a new tech that was discovered actually in the past few days. Uh, like once Quanis into Shadow Mario. But Jekyll's gonna do a save warp uh, pretty soon. So mainly what he does there is that he resets and then while the reset is happening, he saves so he can go back into that file and just go straight into Rico. If I would have failed that, this run would have been over right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it would have been pretty bad. What's funny is that the game actually, it acts like it's saving for a few seconds, but it actually saves like frame one, so. Yeah. I guess they were just trying to avoid any save corruption stuff during that, so. Got a free life back for doing that, so. Oh yeah, also good for getting your, your one-ups back, that's true. And we're gonna see some movement, never before seen really in runs, because it's a very new trick. Uh, this is the Beyblade. The Beyblade. We're gonna try Beyblade. to check it out. You gotta go for it. It's pretty new, so hopefully he can uh, not fall back in the cannon or something. Uh, uh, okay. He got he got some momentum from it. You're gonna see it again in Rico Three if both runners right. decide to go for it, and it gets you makes you go pretty fast. I guess before we get to Rico Three, uh, what it is is. You can sort of do like a spin move on the ground if you have Flood by doing a spin and pressing R. And when you have that spin animation on the ground, if you go down a really steep slope and jump, you get crazy momentum on your speed. And uh, you can do it off the pentacan in there. So. And here's Gooper Blooper. Yeah, you can just spray him, and if you grab him at the right time, you don't actually have to pull on his tentacles at all, so it saves a lot of time. One of the, I guess, only bosses with like a true quick kill on it, other than yeah, Shadow Mario. Yeah. It's nice. Yeah, we're seeing Quan. There's like a really small time saver there. If you bonk his face, it like saves a frame or something. <laughs> Just thought I would point that out. <laughs> yeah, you gotta save the frames. And there's a saver method. <laughs> now, speaking of saving the frames, we are now going to the blooper surfing safari, but we're gonna save the bloopers, so I'm actually save the not bloopers. Gonna use them. Yeah. I'm gonna do this thing called blooperless for both the entry here and for the race. So that'll be pretty hype. Yeah, because water sliding is the fastest form of movement in the game, and we get there on a better line. We're gonna actually use the manhole uh, movement and then just do a fancy wide turn into the tunnel and there you go. <laughs> and here is the blooper race where we're not gonna use bloopers again. Yeah, this race, the criteria, <laughs> you just gotta hit two invisible checkpoints. So I'm just gonna kinda go in like a triangle and hit these. There's, so there's one, one right, right here. And then there's one sort of against the other wall coming up. So it's kind of like Mario Kart, where there's just sort of checkpoints you got to hit for it to count, just finishing it. Should be like a solid 19. Oh, it's 20, let's go! 1989. Shout out to the people born that year. <laughs> so we didn't really explain it that much in depth in the Pianta entry, but you could see it very well there. <laughs> where like when you go into YCAM, your momentum, your momentum is stored, so you can just like keep going, turn around. Oh, an alternative way to get up on the top of the wall doing a GWK, so very cool stuff. All right, so I'm assuming J. Cool's got to go for it. Uh, <laughs> put, me, put me on the spot. Here like comes that. the Beyblade. Got to do the Beyblade, man. Here comes the Beyblade. New tech. We'll see. <laughs> 
We gotta show off something new here. I mean, yeah. come on. Yeah. We gotta Ooh, even out the, the race again. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, J. Cool. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Also, it's kind of scary because it kind of depends on where the crane is. So. Let's see if we can uh, pull this off. Oh. Oh! Whoa! Oh. He was so close. Dude. <laughs> uh, I don't even know how to back this up. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> there is a backup in that platform. Uh, All right. Do you know it by any chance? We'll see. Tyler said as a back, yeah, with this platform. Try it once and then, uh... You have to do a triple jump there. This is pretty precise. Oh, okay. Uh, we're doing it, dude. You got the right idea. That's, this is how you do it. Should be moving. That, that looks good. Yes. Yeah, okay. good backup. Oh. Oh. All right, all right. And Quan's gonna try the Beyblade again. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna go for it. All right, all right, all right. Can I grab this? I can't. Oh, crap. But uh, I mean, at least we saw Jake will get the crazy speed you get from it. Yeah. It's yeah. a pretty insane trick. This was found like three days ago, so it's still like oh. in the works. So in front of the by Doki Doki. Yeah. Saves like two seconds or something if you get it right. Yeah. 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 Nicest for what that yeah. stage. I'm sure that next UDQ, once they were well practiced on the new tech, it's going to get yeah. easy every time. So literally, for that. it was literally found like 48 hours ago. Or so. Yeah. <laughs> so it's brand new to all of us. Quan did have the IL world record on this shine. Oh yeah, actually I tied Quan and then he destroyed me. <laughs> and now I think Ouija has the world record. No, I think Seti has then, the world record uh, behind the us. The Seti Within has it right now. So. <laughs> we're just, you know, just destroying that Rico 3 IL time. And it's not even just there. It could be used in Rico 4 and there's a bunch of potential for M120 shine, so... Also, yeah, here we have the Rico 4 secret as seen in Galaxy 2. Uh, it's a bit scary if you mess up somewhere because you got to improvise uh, movement on a literal, just the entire thing's a cycle, so. But Jayco's looking good. Getting the green cycle. Woo. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> yeah. And Quan on a similar cycle. That looks fair. Okay. <laughs> That jump's scarier than it has to be, but it's not too bad. And this is like a very like heavily optimized secret. <laughs> like if you want to go for IL world record in this secret, you have to get like frame perfect dive rollouts. It's that's like pretty much all you have to do at that stage. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty yeah. much just dive and roll out the stage. So yeah. I mean, <laughs> but if you miss one little input, it could ruin everything. Oh yeah. Like I said, improv is so hard in that secret. And this, so, this is basically just like the blooper fight again, except I think he has like an extra move or attack or something that he does that's supposed to be he harder. Like, he like spins his arms around. You no, know, oh. he does his own version of the Beyblade. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we're not gonna see that, so I mean, it's pretty Take our word fight. for it, though. He does some crazy spin thing, so. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> also, you gotta pull the mouth like a little bit further, so. I guess it's a bit harder. I don't know. It's kind of insane, dude. It's hard. <laughs> if you're not ready for it, it's like, man, I got to pull this mouth so long, man. Oh, I guess we haven't mentioned it, but also, um, you don't have to pull the mouth, like, for the full distance. You can let go as soon as he starts squealing. Yeah. So, yeah. Shine get it. Shine get 25. Let's Oops. go. No, it's going to be a very sad day in Rico 6 because I know we were able to save them in Rico 2, but we're not saving them now. Sorry. Uh, yeah. We got to kind of <laughs> use them. <laughs> yeah, much faster water movement than uh, not having them. So We're going to be getting the eight red coins on the water, and of course... We want to be able to surf around and be able to pick them up much quicker, so... It is possible to do it without the blooper, but if you want to lose a minute... You then. could! <laughs> be my guest, you want to save the bloopers, lose, yeah. lose a minute, why not? <laughs> Good luck! Good luck! <laughs> and yeah, they're doing... It's a pretty standard route now, but this is sort of like the reverse route. It saves about a second over going the other way around the, the level. They're going to be aiming for a 133 here, ideally. Scary sub jump. Ooh. Nails it. 
Angus 133. All right. It's not over yet. I got to actually get the shine now. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Woo, we're going for a ride. <laughs> like he said. <laughs> But there you go, there you go, okay. The thing about the green blooper is that it's actually, it, it's very, it's a lot safer than the yellow and pink blooper. They all have the same max speed, but the reason why we pick the green blooper, A, it has very good turning, and B, if you're not holding anything and you hit something, then you die. Oh, 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 oh what was that? <laughs> that was parasol. Sick. That was dope. That's sick, I even know about that. <laughs> Yeah, you can just jump off the umbrella there, and the blooper just disappears, and you're just off of it. So, <laughs> so yeah, you know, if you want to have a safe method and not risk missing the shine, there you go. Yeah, it, I'm going to I'm gonna have to take that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's safe, and it doesn't even lose, like, a third of a second. So. Oh, all right. That's good. <laughs> and, yeah, probably the easiest Shadow Mario. There is a quick kill version of this, but it's actually one of the hardest, so we're just going to play it safe. Should I get? <laughs> Shout outs to Seti and Reed, the two gods of Shadow Mario quick kills. <laughs> oh, yeah. With that, that's Rico Harbor. We're going to be going back to Bianco Hills to finish it up. We got two more shines there. Oh, yeah. And uh, the first one I'm going to do is, in my opinion, probably one of the hardest secrets in the game. It's, it's, it's uh, It can be one of the scariest, yeah. but thankfully, they give you free one up, so there's no risk of gaming over, right. which is yeah. definitely a good thing. There is a risk of losing like a minute, though. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Could see those rays get switched up in just a second. It might be crazy. What does it have to see? There's a very difficult strat right here called one slide, where if you start this slide there and you can go all the way across the bridge, it's n it's you have to have a ton of speed for I it. I wouldn't it's recommend really it. Easy. Yeah, I would not recommend it. I personally prefer two slide. Oh two yeah. Slide. <laughs> I think I tried one slide once in a run. I bonked the pole and fell down. So I was like, yeah, maybe we're not doing that. <laughs> one slide is a myth. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a practice only strat. Let's let's be honest. This is the one big time loss in the, the old world record, not the new one. Oh yeah. Woo, and he that nails good. that momentum spin, but. Uh, <laughs> Ending movement yeah. is a Not pretty big factor. <laughs> Just get oh, yeah. out here for a minute or two. It's fine. <laughs> oh, oh, that was weird. The momentum spin is tough, but luckily it's a pretty. Oh. oh. Uh, there's, wow. a, there's a cloud there. Uh, <laughs> I think your best bet's to just start, bro. I think, I think start, it's bro. that one. Yeah. That's, uh, that's very, no, I think uh, he's waiting. I've already waited, so, I mean... <laughs> New I don't know. I feel like the death <laughs> might be worth it. Who knows? I never timed oh it. Oh, that point's coming back down. <laughs> yeah, it's a really slow descent, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, Quanisa takes the lead. But what well, he was attempting there... Oh, lead switch, lead switch. Lead switch. Here we go. <laughs> I'll explain stuff after they uh, do this intense movement at the end. Ooh, he's doing the Ooh. cycle list. Oh, there you go. Okay, there, there. Uh, is. But then, like, what are these cycles? <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you mess yeah. up, the cycles at the top are all over the place. I was thinking about going for the GWKD, okay. but Ooh. after I saw J. Cool, I was like, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't blame you, man. But yeah, they, they made it. Good stuff. And uh, yeah, here's Shadow Mario again. The Shadow Mario is probably the easiest quick kill method. Uh, everyone usually goes for it. Like, even I do this one, and I suck. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's how you know it's easy. I don't even do it. I'll uh, do any of them. I messed it up, so I can't do it. <laughs> I'm sure Jekyll's got it. <laughs> yeah, Jekyll's got it. Oh, yeah, we'll okay. see about that. <laughs> Just don't want to mega bonk on him, let him run to the village. Yeah. You always hate to see that. Don't jinx it, Trey. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. All right, all right. Uh, no bonk. We're good. Thank God. Going, uh, going for the slow kill. <laughs> <laughs> all right, and now we have to claim Yoshi for Isle Delfino and also all of the worlds in Delfino, basically. Right. Or basically, so there's a really weird requirement in this game to get Yoshi, and it's doing pin of four, which is kind of strange. Uh, which, doing pin of four unlocks them in each world. But to get him in Delfino, you gotta defeat the Shadow Mario as well. So. 
I mean, I guess it's because you're cleaning, uh, you're killing the turtles who have the Yoshi egg shells. The Snooza Koopas have Yoshi egg shells, but it's, it's still kind of yeah. a weird farm. <laughs> I don't know. Nintendo logic. Ooh. Oh, nice throw from Nick. I like that throw. I like that throw. Okay. And yeah, we're now we're going to Serena Beach. So one of the luckiest uh, worlds in the game, or usually unluckiest, I should say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this the first shine here is kind of obnoxious. You gotta spray the manta, and as you spray it, it'll break into like smaller and smaller like versions of itself. And where they end up going is random, so you kind of have to just hope they go where you want them to go and stay close together so you can spray them quickly, but you'll see here in a sec on Quan's screen. And I believe they're both going to go for the HUD manipulation found by Wilco. Disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> there is no HUD setups, but uh, they're using the HUD, which basically makes them turn the other way, and it sets up for the sprays a lot more consistently. That being said, there's going to be one medium-sized dude who gets away from you, and it's, it's a pain, but that's Manta for you. Yeah, you want to get them to their smallest form. When they're in their smallest form, they'll all start chasing after you, so... But before that, they just kind of go in any random direction. Mm -hmm. This is looking pretty good from Khan. Oh, very oh. good. That Wait, he's great. out of water. <laughs> out of water. <laughs> 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 yeah, basically, for the most Whoa. part... Whoa. Yeah, Jake will have a little more trouble here. There's like one more. Come on. There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, yeah, there he we found go. Him. He found him. Yeah, the speed of the stage is determined by how fast they turn pink. Because oh. at that point, they all start chasing you. So. Yeah, Quan definitely getting the better Manta there, but uh, it's just super random sometimes. The reason why Quan looks into the sunset, I know it's nice to look Other at. Other than being but, epic. Yeah, no, it's nice <laughs> to look at. But when you, if you look at the sunset and then once you gain control of Mario again, you're actually facing that direction of where you were looking. So you can just go straight into a water slide. Yeah, and like in many cases, Y cam mode, it like stores your direction you're facing going into stuff. So that's what that does. 30 shine gets. <laughs> And yeah, so that spawns the Hotel Delfino, which is where the majority of shines are in this world. Now, coming up, in my opinion, is the hardest secret, which oh, is Serena. Yeah. It's up there for one of the toughest, for sure. Uh, it's really long and extremely movement dependent, and the ending is also really risky. First, we have to do an entrance strat where we have to wall kick off these poles. There's different ways to do it. I'm just gonna straight up spin jump onto the sides of these little walls or whatever the fences. Mm -hmm. Try to wall kick my way up there. Also spray some booze on the way. Yep. These pink booze will get in the way, but if you are doing a spin spray the whole time, they're no problem. So really, really good entry. Come on. I'm sorry, I didn't go for the GWKD there. <laughs> nah, it's all right. J. Cool, you gotta save us. I'll go for it, man. Funnily enough, that's the strat that Kwan Iza actually found. <laughs> but, uh, let's see here. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, it's a little risky, but luckily there's no chance of dying, so. Who put this watermelon Speaking here? Speaking of chance of dying. <laughs> ah, you'll be fine. Oh. oh! Oh! But Kwan with the dive. Kwan gets the hardest shot, which, in my opinion, it's the hardest shot. It's a very difficult moment for spin jump. I was, uh, I was torn on clapping there because he just died. He got a sick thing. So yeah. like, there we go. We got it. He got it, the GWK. GWK. You just want to show that off. That was go. worth it. It was worth. Worth. Good strut. So yeah, Serena Beach basically has, this has seven levels, obviously. Two are pretty easy. You got uh, Serena 3, you're going to see here, where we clip into a shine with a banana. It's pretty easy. And Shadow Mario. It also has two extremely like RNG dependent levels and two nerve wracking secret levels. So, and then also another level where you have to be super precise with your spam spray. So Serena Beach as a whole is extremely difficult. If you're a, like a top level runner and you get a PB in the Serena Beach, if you're a top level runner and you have a PB pace run in Serena Beach, you, in your mind you're like, okay, this isn't gonna PB. <laughs> this is how hard it's pretty it is. much how it's gonna be. First try. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Found by your boy Graham. Yeah, sure. shout out to your boy Graham for the banana split. Uh, the intended way to do that level is like 
going around the whole hotel, getting a pineapple to Yoshi, and then going through the attic, and then going to eat some ghosts, did some crazy stuff. Probably one of the most interesting levels to play casually, though. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a fun level casually. Easy to get stuck on, but if you know what you're doing, it's pretty fun. But you can use a banana and just clip straight through there. And I'll take no this problem. time to plug the bingo that's going on because one of the bingo goals is Serena 3 no clipping. That where is true. You have to do it the casual route. Which I'm not going to do. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite a bit slower. <laughs> Quan, I'll let you talk about the bingo tourney that's going on. Oh, yeah. Basically, there's a... <laughs> basically, there's a row control... Lockout 1v1 bingo tournament. Bingo. <laughs> it's, it's a crazy there it is. Yeah, Oh, yeah, it's Connect 5, my bad. Connect 5. Yeah. Uh, and you can watch it on Sunshine Community. And yep. yeah. You can probably explain what I just did there, though. Oh, that I, was the casino skip. I honestly, I don't know if I'd run this game if this skip didn't exist that he just I'm, did. Yeah. Basically, um, the casino part, uh, there's two slot machines that are totally random because they're slot machines. Duh. And then after that, there's some tile flipping thing, which is just the worst thing ever. But you can just get enough high and skip it all. So shout out to Mano Cheese for finding that skip in 2011, I believe. Oh! oh. There you go. And shout outs to Dobby for the secret of that stage for finding butt sliding and making that Ooh. very oh, yeah. popular. Yeah, believe it or not, there's an even riskier version of that that he could have done. Oh, 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 no, oh, no, oh, <laughs> no. Yeah, you would not want to clip out of there. <laughs> All right. But yeah, uh, I don't know if, you, if everyone caught that, but yeah, twitch.tv slash sunshine community. Hype tournament going on. There's Ooh. a diamond butt slide. There's a butt slide. The first one's a bit easier than the second one. Not a lot of people will go for the second one. Yeah, it's They're possible here crazy. too, but... A lot of here. Dying it. <laughs> All right, right now I'm going to be entering the absolute best boss fight in the game. You can't get more RNG than slot machines. So, yeah, you know, we skipped the casino stuff, but we don't get off scot-free because we got King Boo coming up, who is uh, a lot of fun. Yeah? <laughs> we have a good time here. Yeah, people who visit uh, the Delfino Casino or D Hotel Delfino definitely have a gambling problem. <laughs> <laughs> so ideally on this, you want to have fruit, then nothing, or anything, then fruit, then anything, then fruit. Yeah, you can't get two fruit in a row. And he gets free first try, which is uh, on pace for being perfect. And there are like a few, like there are a few things about it. Like one being, if you get an extra cycle, which ha has a common chance of happening, you usually get one or two extra cycles that loses about seven seconds each time. Mm -hmm. Quan cancels this cycle as soon as they spawn, just to set for the next one. If that was a green question mark right there, then it would have been guaranteed to be fruit. But, but unfortunately, an there's cycle. an extra right there. That's seven seconds down the drain. Yeah, there it's guaranteed to be fruit, so he can go around and just work on other stuff. I always forget that too, but yeah, that's true. And yeah, grab pie in the purple things doesn't do anything except for make it easier to grab fruit. Dude, I'm, getting, I'm getting these durian kicks. Oh yeah, <laughs> double durian kick. I wish that was two hits, but unfortunately it's not. That would be insane. Yeah, durians are the one fruit that you cannot pick up in this game, but they're ideal for King Boo. You can just kick him into him. Do we have time for a quick donation? Yeah, yeah, yes. totally. Sure, we have $2,500 from Chrono.gg. Wow. We hope this adds yeah. a little sunshine to the run. Don't forget to check out the official SGDQ game store at sgdq.chrono.gg for great deals on lots of speedrunning favors with proceeds going towards Doctors Without Borders. Thank you for that. Alright, Quandy's the only game, one extra cycle, that's not too bad. Yeah, that's, that's pretty standard. I think one's about average. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Is that your first? That's my first. Yeah. Alright, so it could be even. Oh, okay. He gets the question mark. Nice. Yeah, we're not getting that one, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully fruit doesn't land there. Oh, of course it is. <laughs> oh. Yeah, not only do the extra cycles matter, where the fruit goes is also a factor, so. 
But yeah, there's uh, King Boo for you, looking a little crazier than he did in Luigi's Mansion. Now you'd think this shine I'm doing is pretty simple, but it's actually really precise and quite hard, especially on this version of the game. Right, so I mentioned this earlier, they're playing on NCSCJ, the Japanese version, which is faster for the most part because every time Delfino Plaza is loaded, you save like six tenths of a second, which really adds up over the course of the run. But it kind of sucks with Serena 6 because you have a stricter group cleaning requirement. Right. Like much stricter. Yeah, I think it's something like 99% or something like that. Yeah. 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 Versus like 96% or something, which is a huge difference, surprisingly. And there's also invisible goop, which. Yeah, they, they didn't quite perfect their goop programming in JP yet. Like, it's essentially version 1.0, so, yeah. Like, what did he miss? Yeah, yeah. This, dude. Oh, and then he just sprays nothing. Okay, yeah. Out. There you go. <laughs> That's JP for you. Yeah. Usually you want to get like above like a 216. If you're really good, then you would want to get like above a 220. If you're a Ouija, then you just get 224s. Every time, somehow. <laughs> But uh, yeah, also, sometimes the visible goop just gets away from you, and uh, it can be rough. I'm going to guess Jay Cool gets a 219 here. Oh, oh close, 18. close, okay. 218, you take that as the top runner. We take those, we take those. Yeah, dude. <laughs> All right, so this is our second to last shot of Mario. Uh, crazy quick kill attempt's gonna be happening right here. Ooh. Oh, uh, that's one of the tougher ones, yeah, for sure. Thankfully, the backup on that one's really easy, unless you Omega Bonk on him. <laughs> Yeah, for some reason, bonking on Shadow Mario, you're like stuck there for five seconds. I think it was programmed that way so he gets away from you. Pretty annoying. <laughs> All right, time for the best level in the game. Yeah, he's coming up on uh, Noki Bay, which is personally probably my favorite uh, level in the speedruns. There's a lot of platforming, a lot of really challenging, challenging shines in that world. Yeah. It also has the most interesting lure in this. That is true. And so, first of all, the entire week's polluted, and we have no clue why. So, what we try to do on episode one is that we try to climb to the very top. Uh, Klon's gonna go for a very fast cycle, hopefully he gets it. And we're gonna try and uncork the waterfall, because hopefully that will send a ton of fresh water into the lake, and it will clear up. So, we'll see how that goes. See if that works out. <laughs> he might be on pace for the best cycle. I think he got it. Right. Oh, oh he gets it. Wow. That is actually like in insanely tight to reach. That's, in my opinion, one of the hardest things in this game is hitting that cycle. It saves about five seconds. Yeah. But luckily, if you like miss that cycle, the second one is pretty lenient. So, yeah. Ooh. Oh, game yeah, that's, uh, that's the hardest part right there is yeah. that wall kick. That's a very tight wall kick. The normal method involves like three wall kicks back and forth, but you can do two wall kicks with that bridge, but it's very, very tight. And that should still be second cycle, so yep. still pretty good. And uh, I guess we'll find out if on a cork in the waterfall fix the polluted problem. Well, let's hope so. See how that works out. Yeah, usually, you, like, if you get second cycle, it's not a big deal. But if you miss that wall kick, J. Cole did go fast, but if you weren't fast enough, then the, the I guess, the goop balls that he shoots out, yeah. they can hit you, and right. you'll lose even more time. Now this shiny, Ooh. this shiny's on now actually has another pretty big skip where you're supposed to fight the Gooper Blooper a third time, but you just use one of these springs up here to kind of clip past it and get to the shine room. That's pretty dope. Yeah, unfortunately, the war, uh, uncorking the waterfall did not help. Yeah, and we are hoping that killing the Gooper Blooper would help, but so Mario, let's kill the Gooper Blooper right now. Yeah, save the bloopers, Wait, man. Save uh, the bloopers. Uh, uh, <laughs> I guess we're not killing them. Okay, there we go. All right. <laughs> But yeah, that's a pretty old uh, skip in the game. Uh, that clip, or that's the only spring in the entire game. It's essentially a fruit that expands, so it's just, it's just asking to be broken, <laughs> honestly. It's the only boss, I, I believe it's the only boss in the game where 
A shine is already there before you beat him. Like, a shine doesn't spawn. True, that's true. That's also why GBS works a lot of each kit, because the shine's already in that glass container. All right, so this man right here, he finally figured out why the lake is so polluted, and that's because there's an eel at the bottom of the lake. So he knows that Mario's not ready yet, so what he has to do is shrink him as, uh, to the size of an ant. Obviously, that's what you do. <laughs> and train him as hard as he can. So we're in this bottle doing a training level for the eel. And uh, this is like one of the most overlooked shines in history. But in more recent times, we've actually sort of optimized the ending movement more uh, to really save those frames. So let's see how Quan gets the ending here. My endings are always bad. Oh, OK, well, see, <laughs> I'm sure it'll still be fantastic. Oh, yeah, a little trick to stop your speed right there. If you hold neutral and you land on the ground, Mario just instantly stops. Yeah, now that you can back up instantly out of that little tunnel section. I thought you were going to exit area there. <laughs> Show that off. Oh, dude, I, I got to catch up, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shout out to Paper who found that if you exit area entering that bottle, you still end up here. It's a, it's a right warp, I guess you could say. <laughs> All right, so Mario is now ready to fight the eel. And the eel is uh, pretty scary. Yeah, there's some more optimal movement. Very nice. All right, this boss fight coming up, in my opinion, is probably the hardest thing to learn. When you're I would agree. You don't I would agree. And it was even harder before practice codes were even yeah. discovered. Those were the dark ages before practice codes. Uh, <laughs> you had to just like actually be on like a legit disc and just reload the stage each time you wanted to practice something. And you would but. just have to fall slowly every single time. But now, thanks to practice codes, you can just load your state with positioning. And I guess we just shout out everyone involved with that. It was uh, Dan Salvato, you might know him, little known guy. Uh, Psycho Nodder, Noki Doki, and Milk all had a hand in practice codes as well. So Basically, my objective for this eel is to clean six teeth without him going back down while also skipping a cutscene. And basically, Quan's going to know where to start his spraying here. There's actually two sides of the eel, a male and a female side. And he is going to use that to know which side the gold tooth is on, which will matter for the six teeth setup. That's looking good. Yep, six oh, teeth. Oh, yeah, that's it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Nearly escapes danger. And, and cuts he gets it. There we nice. go. So his goal there was to get damaged right when he cleans off the last tooth. So basically, for some reason, that just skips the cutscene and it saves 20 seconds. And J. Cole opted for five tooth. Didn't quite clean one of the teeth, but uh, you know, it's tough to like judge how much you got to spray sometimes. And yeah, you have to provoke him into eating you so that he doesn't go down into his hidey hole. Jekyll's going to show off the fast ending, though. Yeah, that's Ooh. Right. That strike Jekyll just did there is really hard. Yeah, that's a lot harder than it looks. And cutscene oh, look, skips as well. Good nice. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely a fast five to use. Yeah. Yeah, good stuff. Eel, definitely a stressful shine. But we get a break now. We get to do another Piantissimo race. This is also a good time for donations. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we definitely have some. I have $256 from Chris Mueller that says, Super Mario Sunshine is my favorite game of all time, so it's the perfect time to send my first ever GDQ donation. Great work to all the runners, crew, announcers, and everyone else who made this event happen for a great cause. Keep those donations flooding in. <laughs> I respect the fun. <laughs> We have $10 from Vivo Ardencio that says, Very excited for the Sunshine Race. It will Delfino Nutley be a great run. <laughs> it's been a great marathon so oh, far. Hey. This pun game is too strong. Maybe one of the runners will set a new Rico Ert. <laughs> Hopefully <laughs> this donation isn't too much of a Pianta read. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Whoa. I don't know about that last one. <laughs> it was a struggle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I honestly didn't even understand it. <laughs> we have $50 from Bruno Fightmaster. I always love Mario Sunshine speedruns, especially Sunshine races. 
Money goes to the winner's choice. Slept up a little bit there. <laughs> oh, these are some wide turn wall kicks. Uh, you can actually gain infinite height on the wall using these. Pretty cool stuff. So after this very relaxing break, having the chill race with PNT Samo, it comes to one of the most nerve-wracking secrets. I wouldn't say the hardest, but at the very end of a run. I would say yeah. the most nerve-wracking. Most nerve-wracking, <laughs> yes. It's like very end of the run, yeah. <laughs> no, that's the hardest. This entrance here, too, is also pretty tricky, I think, as well. Yeah, this is rope pretty movement. Nerve During the practice race, like, the top five runners, like, all, like, slipped up somewhere on the stage. Yeah, I definitely choked here. Uh, it was rough. <laughs> yeah, very good ropes, though. That was very good. Now we have a secret. Yeah. Let's go. We're just gonna be going for green cycle. Uh, okay, okay. All right, all right. That was a little bit of a weird angle. I guess blue cycle. Yeah, blue cycle, still good. Dude, I get to show off pyro, pyro kick, hopefully. Hopefully. Ooh, okay. Get the nice. pyro, get kick. pyro kick. Pyro kick, let's go. Dude, pyro kick's always hype. I'm glad we showed that off. <sighs> yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, stuck in the fish tank. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he's just gonna go and just get any random cycle that he can. If I can this... get out of there. <laughs> you gotta see some insane improv coming up. I'm hyped for this. <sighs> Technically, there really are only two cycles, the green cycle and blue cycle. I got green cycle, let's go! Whoa, green you cycle. got green cycle! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, this is the other cycle, or the blue cycle, he's just getting yep. green cycle. So we both off, we, we showed off both strats there, which is really nice. Oh, hey! Okay. There's the shine get. <laughs> All right, so Quaniza, a Shadow Mario ahead, but uh, it's not over yet, folks. We got Corona Mountain after this, which can be very deadly, so. It's very scary. I'm gonna be going for the sort of the fastest strats here, and yep, it's really cycle dependent and has a lot of precise spin jump dives and whatnot. There's a bit of RNG as well on whether or not the fire will go out. Yeah, fire's always fun to deal with. <laughs> oh. oh! What? All right. Oh, he goes up. Oh, wow. Wow. Climbing up there. So luckily there is a consistent way to like get him. Uh, there we go. Alright, he gets him. One more tap. Let's okay, let's just... <laughs> wall kicks will work. Almost. Almost. Now they will work. <laughs> oh. Uh, there we Plum go. one for fast corona. I don't oh, think he's gonna get it. Oh! <laughs> what? I didn't know that gonna happen. Wait, he can... What? Wait, he what can what, what is up? happening? What is... What? what? <laughs> I've never seen this. No, he can get up again. I th <laughs> Who do I watch? Okay, Quan's doing Corona. He's trying to... Is he at full health again? I think he's at full health again. Oh, no. What the heck, man? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I didn't know yeah. that was a thing, but... Oh. Uh, got him. So that's good. Oh, and fast boat. There's the fast boat. Fast boat hype? And here we get to see some rocket storage. To just skip all these clouds, just like that. We. Bowser Jr. It's Bowser Jr. Voice. Jr. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't know he was in the game. Whoa. Making his first cameo. <laughs> He's making a guest appearance. <laughs> so this is the last uh, boss fight in the game, obviously. Basically, you just use the rocket nozzle to go high enough in the air to ground pound these, like, pegs, which I guess destroys the lava pool <laughs> that Peach is having a great time in. I don't know who conceived this boss fight, but, you know, it's, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> It's still pretty nerve-wracking because there is goop RNG that can kill you. Which, uh, you know, like every single time you hit something, it splashes onto the stage, so you gotta watch out for that. Chas the Sniper King, one of the only runners who goes the opposite direction, which, I guess why not? <laughs> Doesn't really matter, I guess, if you're, if you're left-handed, sure. <laughs> time right, is time coming, is up. coming up. Yeah, time's coming up. One more platform to hit. Didn't Avoids that goop. goop. Avoids that goop. And, and time. time. <laughs> and 
and two successful speed boats on top of that. Oh, yeah, you got fast cry. I didn't even see that. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> and he's going. That's that. Solid Corona. Yeah. Yo, GG on that win, man. GG is Jaquan. GG. De Make definitely an interesting race. Yeah, that, was <laughs> that, that was a marathon race for sure. A lot of back and forth for sure. Just gonna take my time here. Yeah. No pressure. How dare you disturb my family vacation? Roar. Now the chats go flood with Bible thumbs because Flood's dead. Yeah, poor Flood. Poor Flood, man. These platforms are a little tricky because some of them, when, you, uh, when you're done ground pounding them, they can make you bounce around and mess up your rocket, and you can actually just straight up die from it. And Ooh. there's the RNG right yeah, that's there. Yeah, all, that's all luck. There's goop. Right, one more. Ooh. That was a little bit scary. Yeah. Ooh. All right, and, and time. time. Woo! Good race. Good race, dude. That was hype. Yeah. That was fun to watch, for sure. He can't really clap. He's, <laughs> he's trying his best. <laughs> So yeah, that's Super Mario Sunshine. If you want to get into speedrunning this or whatever, hit up speedruns.com, look at the resources, join the Discord. Ask any of us on Discord or anywhere, we'll definitely help you out. Mm -hmm. right. So yeah. And there's probably people live, like, whenever you want to go to the Twitch directory for Mario Sunshine. Oh yeah. Right. The Sunshine the, community is really vibrant right now, for sure. Yeah, yeah it's popping lately. More records lately. being pushed down it's and down. It's picking up speed, for sure, yeah. Definitely. There's going to be a lot of records being broken. I would definitely check mm -hmm. them out. Check out Ouija. Check Thank out you. Ouija. Check out Sean Mario, yeah. Jake, well, everyone. <laughs> All right. Everyone here, for sure. All right, well, is that it? That's yeah. it. All right, thanks for watching. We're good. All right, thanks, thanks for watching. Guys. Peace. Thanks for watching, Peace. guys. Peace. Follow me on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm a longtime viewer on YouTube, but this is my first time watching live Super Mario Sunshine. It is my favorite speedrun to watch. Good luck to both runners and happy Pride Month. $25 from J Buzzy B. Wish I could be there with you guys this time around, but I'm always excited to see Sunshine at GDQ. Shoutouts to the amazing Sunshine community and let's go, Kwan. $45 from Thunder Rono. Sunshine, this is my absolute favorite game, and every time a GDQ schedule gets released, I'm searching up and down to see if Sunshine made the list. Runs of this game are always a blast. Good luck to both runners. $25 from Bowser. Rawr! Not like anyone is going to defeat me this run, but good luck trying. SGDQ is sponsored by Best Buy, the destination for all PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, and PC gaming needs. Pre-order Pokemon Sword and Shield at Best Buy and get $10 in rewards. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night at Best Buy and get an exclusive metal case. Or Cyberpunk 2077 at Best Buy and get one of three exclusive steelbooks. Best Buy carries exclusive physical limited run games, including the upcoming Celeste and Toe Jam and Earl. While they are setting up for Resident Evil 2, we'll go ahead and read a few more donations. We have $250 from Mad Wolf that says, Shine Get, Shine Get, and the Shine Got Got. $25 from Lily Pie that says, Less than 10,000 to that 500K milestone. Let's go. And we are at 4,093,622 for our SGDQ funds raised for Doctors Without Borders. So get those donations in and thank you so much to all of our donors. Okay, we still have them setting up, so we'll go through some more donations. We have five, sorry, $50 from JJ's, JJ's mom. Hey, JJ on the couch. You make us proud from JJ's mom and dad. Aww. $100 from Littlest Cthulhu. Thanks for getting my daughter Bethany's summer vacation off to a great start. You all rock.
$50 from Red Fraggle. I'm so excited to watch this run and then boot up my old game to practice some tricks. This is the first game I ever tried to speedrun and I always come back to it. Good luck to the runners and let's get some good Disney tunes going during Kingdom Hearts. $50 from Flood that says, quick reminder to stay hydrated, everybody, and I hope you all are staying hydrated. All right. $20 from Overdrive191. Super Mario Sunshine was my first ever video game, one of my favorites of all time, and will always hold a special place in my heart. I had to donate. Good luck to the runners. $50 from Wheezy Fuzz. As a reg registered nurse, I love SGDQ and Doctors Without Borders. Thank you to the runners, staff, and all the donors that make this event possible. Thank <laughs> you. 